Welcome to Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Today we're making Bomer Burgers 2.0. Now, I've been making these for years. A lot of people love them. I usually make them on my stick burner, which gives a lot of good uh, smoke rings. But we're doing it in the master built today. And honestly, it doesn't give it a lot of smoke that I like. I mean, I like smoke on mine, a good smoke ring. So the 2.0 is we're going to upgrade it a little bit and I'm going to show you how. So stick around. Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take some 80-20 hamburger meat. Now normally when I do my burgers, when people come over, if I usually my one pound burger was always a big hit, but a lot of people like them smaller. So if I tell you I'm giving you a one pound burger, I'm giving you a one pound burger because I for gosh, it took me about a well not over a week, but I would measure out and put them on a scale before I put them on the smoker and find out how much reduction would be there so then I could add that to it so then when I did smoke it and it was done it was actually one pound or a half pound or a quarter pound so but today's gonna be a little bit different right now we're going to start off with some uh, black pepper put a lot of that in there we're going to put some kosher salt. And we're going to already chopped it up. I got chopped onions and bacon bits. Throw those in there. Ain't that right, Mr. Remington? That's my lab, one of my labs. He's the oldest. Father of Scout. Scout. Alright. Now we just mix it all together. Sometimes you just gotta reach in there and put it all together. I love making these. I had one guy says, oh, they're too dry. Well, you don't have to eat it. That's another thing. When you make something, make it because you like it, not because somebody else does. Make it to your taste. Make it your own. make them out in the patties. So we're going to make a ball. And we're going to put them in the press here. Then we're going to press it on down. What do you think? That's not, it's not too shabby, is it? Alright, let's see if I can duplicate that. probably put too much in that one. That's okay. I'll take it. Then my heartbeat. And put a little bit more. Now you can always add some mustard to this, mayonnaise, apple apple juice. Whatever. 
whatever you darn well like. You know, this press ain't too little, too shabby. Well, here it goes. See this little press? I think I got that off the internet. I think. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Oh. With this little coronavirus going around. Stay at home. It's got everybody tore up. Like, oh man, I got time off work. Well, no, let's stay at home. Can't go nowhere. It's not unless you go to the store. Had to cancel some doctor's appointments. Had to give me time to work on my little scout, my big scouts. I got a 1980 Traveler that's at the uh, body and paint right now. I already got the seats back. I had custom seats made for it. Working on my little scout. <sighs> Trying to do the warrant on it. Now you know how Scout got his name. Of course, Remington got his name because of Remington Farms. Because I love deer and turkey hunt. And of course, Hunter got his name because I like to hunt. Sooner or later, I'll show you my house, show you all my turkey fans and my deer heads. Alright, let's see if we can get this one right. This will be the last one. And it will have the most. onion in it. I think we can do that. Or not. Alright, probably not. So now, what I'm going to do is I've already added salt and sugar to it I mean salt and pepper Ooh, sugar I'm going to take I'm not going to use my famous rub on this one because I don't want to really show you uh, we're going to do the applewood dough and we're going to be real generous with it it'll start up here try to be. Now this is the point where if you want to you can cover these up, put them back in the refrigerator, let everything you know Seat, seat end on it, but we're not going to. We're going to take them out there. I've got the smoker going. Uh, I'm at, I'm going to try to run around 250, 275, probably around 275. I'm using hickory pellets, but I didn't soak nothing. I'm using them straight. Hopefully I can get more smoke into this one. Uh, trust me, it won't take long. And let's take them out there and, and put them on. Okay, I've already put the pellets in the smoker, as you can see. We're running right now around 272. We'll open this bad boy up. We'll go ahead and start putting these bad boys on it. All right. 
right, there we go. We got them on there. We'll go ahead and close this back up. Here in about 30 minutes, we'll come back out, put some more pellets in there, and then we'll check it probably in an hour, see where we're at. All right, what I want to do now, we're going to spray a little bit of non-stick on here. Put our press on there. Just for a minute. There you go. Oh, don't get no better than that. So we got our buns toasted. Now it's about time for the burgers. Okay, it's time to take off the burgers. It's a little bit dark, but we'll see better when we get them in the house. I come out earlier and I put some uh, barbecue sauce on a couple of them. So let's get these off. And we'll put these on this end. these put brought into the house and we'll make us a sandwich well there you have it we've got them out I put some barbecue sauce on some of them uh, I went ahead and made me one I put uh, instead of Jeff G mayonnaise I put thousand dollars now you can put anything you want on these things tomato lettuce pickles you know onions of course I got onions in it a uh, buddy of mine likes to have eggs on top of his that's fine too, um, but you make it your own. Just whatever you want to throw on there, uh, guacamole. Well, you know, that's your thing. Just, uh, just enjoy it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Uh, hit the like button. Leave me a comment if there's anything you want me to make. Just let me know. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna enjoy this. I got me some chips. I would have made homemade potato chips, but that's another show. So this is Jeff for Tennessee Buck Outdoors, and we'll catch you next time.